create a shape, any shape. I'm using an arrow, but it could be anything. Then go to convert to curves. And that will convert it to curves and also to nodes. You can then modify the shape. So go to the node tool and that's in the tools panel. And you can see the nodes, click it and select and you can drag it, reposition it and change the shape. Also hold down the shift and select another one. And then you can drag both. But you can also go to the transform in the control bar at the top and click transform mode. And you can see a bounding box. And you can scale it left, right, up and down. You can also shear it. You can also rotate it. You can see the rotation there. You can make the points very close together or stretch them well away. And also you can shear it just by going to the middle section and again, just shearing it that direction. And literally millions of different shapes can be created using that. At any time, you can always go back to the move tool. You can also hold down the shift again, select another node, hold down the shift, select another one, and so on. You can select near enough all of them. Of course, if you select them all, it's exactly the same as just using the move. So you've got that design there. Transform, transform mode, click that. And again, you can see the bounding box. And you can scale all those points. All the others will stay in the same position. So you can really squeeze it down to one corner or stretch it upwards, but all the others will still remain in the previous position. You can also rotate it, shear it, exactly the same as before. So you can see the shear there. Or just go to the rotation and rotate it. Make a great animation if you could do that. And again, any point, you can always go back to the move tool and then just select the entire design. If you want to, go to the node tool, select that, and then drag over the points you want to select. Sometimes I think it's easy just to select them individually, but you can drag over all of them. And also you can hold down the shift and select another point or node. And then again, go back to transform mode, select that, and then resize and rotate and shear, exactly the same as before, to create all kinds of unique shapes. And you of course can save that to your assets as well, so for future use. You can also hold down the shift key as well, so if you want to constrain it to 30, 45, etc., you can do that. And you can also constrain it proportionally as well by using the shift key. And you can just move it around again as before.